Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. City Skylines is newly released on PlayStation 4. Um, I'm a huge fan of building games so what I thought I would do is to give you a basic tutorial, basic guide to help new starters get started in the game. Because um, if you're not used to city building games they can be a little bit um, off-putting starting them off but the first thing you need to do, as you can see here, is start building yourself some roads. So you've got the highway leading in. You start building yourself some roads from the menu, as you can see there. Now my advice is when you're starting off building a city new, only build on one side first and this, if you've only got one water on one side, build nearest the water first. On this map there's water on both sides, so it didn't really matter if I started on the left or the right. But I chose to start on this side. So you map out a little section there. Now you've only got a little bit of money to start with, so you don't go mad. More roads there, split it up. Because you want like different sections for different areas to put in there, you know, like residential, commercial, industrial, things like that. Because you want to fit them all in to this first little section to start generating people living in the map, uh, commerce, industry, all that sort of thing. You can see that I'm splitting it up quite nicely, nice, nice and tidy. using the roads there you go nice and simple nice and tidy got a few little sections there to get you started so the first next thing you want to do is go to zoning um, at the beginning you are only given three options really in the zoning you've got low density residential low density commercial and industrial you want people to move in, so the first thing you want to start building is your residential, which is the green. Click that there, click that there, that gets you started. And you can see almost immediately they will start building. If you keep your finger on left three, it will speed up the um, the map basically, which for the purposes of this tutorial will be useful. You can see there they're starting to build. The residential areas automatically like, which is something I absolutely love in this game it determines what's going to be built in where you just tell them what kind of things you want built in certain areas and this map as well I really enjoy it because it's almost like a European type map some of the architecture it feels very European it's really nice so all the maps are quite unique in their styles you can see there as it's being built they're asking it's asking for power so you're gonna to have to build a power plant I always forget this you need to connect both roads otherwise you're not gonna be able to sell your goods when you start building industry and commerce so connect both highways as I've just done there you can see there connected them both together I always forget that when I start a map so there you go it's asking for water and power, all them houses. So you need to build yourself a power plant by going to the power thing, the power section. Decide where you're going to put it. Now you don't want to put a dirty uh, power plant right next to all the new built residential homes. So where's the best place to put it? Probably near where you're going to put your industry. So I'm just deciding there where I'm going to put it. That seems about right. Yeah, you don't want that big smoky factory next to, next to all your nice newly built houses. And then you need to put up your power lines. So you just stretch them along. Your power lines are right there next to where, you, where your power plant is. Can be a bit fiddly the power lines. but you basically need to make them connect into where the blue is there once it touches the blue they will all start receiving power those houses just round the corner there just touching you'll see the power will start dropping off there you go they've all got power now 
So the next thing you need to do, actually I shall just take off the day night cycle. It's beautiful at night, but it makes it harder for this tutorial, so I've taken it away. Right, so the next thing that you need to do is water. They all need water in those houses. Go to the water section. You've got two. You've got water drain pipe, water pumping station. The drain pipe essentially is for the sewerage. Click that on there. And your other one there. Don't have them right next to each other because one of them basically is firing out sewerage and the other one is firing in clean water. Now you need to connect up power. They need power. On that, touch it in the blue, both power lines. There you go, they've both got power now. But there is no, still no pipes leading into the houses. So the next thing is pipes. Just on the left is the pipes. Touch it there. Move it down. There you go. And then move the pipe up this way. And the other way. There you go. They've all got water, but there's another problem. Backed up sewerage. What do we do? Very simple. Pipe from the sewerage. Just connect it to that pipe. And you will see very, very shortly the sewerage sign. There you go. Oh, it's all fine now. No problem with the sewerage. So that's how you do your water and your pipes. And you just extend the pipes throughout the map. You don't need to do the same with the sewerage as long as it's connected to the main pipe. You're fine with the sewerage. So, let's get some more residential areas built up there and there. Commercial there, which are your shops, businesses, industry, right, right back here near the motorway. And they're starting to build straight away. You can see there as well down at the bottom, people have started to move in. As soon as you connect the power and the sewerage and the water to the houses, people will start moving in. You can see there, they're asking for water now, the businesses and the industrial sites. So what you need to do, connect pipe to over here. There you go. And again, you can see some of them are already happy. I think there's just a small section over there that needs some more. There we are. They've all got water. Okay, so you can see people moving in, and it, it, when you've got enough houses, um, which we, we have at the minute because there's some more being built there, people will move in at quite a hefty pace. When you see that slowing down, right now you can see there's like 40 odd moving in at a time. When that starts dropping to like 2 or 3 or... Yeah. That's the milestone we want to get to up to 340 residents and then we'll we'll get some more stuff to build which is just where we're at now bit of sneaky editing going on there okay so when that slows down you need to build more houses is basically the point I'm getting to so we, now with the milestone that we just reached we're able to build a medical centre And also, what have we got there? An elementary school. Put that just there on the other side. Everyone's happy now, the kids can go to school. So you've got landfill site as well. You don't want that by your houses. Let's put that over by the power plant, over by the industry section. There you go, that's your landfill site for all the garbage. So it's starting to take shape now is the um, the city. 
Oh well, it's just really a town at the minute. So let's get some more houses built because it's slowing down a little bit. There we are. There you go. A few more houses built there. And right there we've got a rogue house without water. Give it some water coverage. There we are. Start to take shape a little bit this now. As you can see. There's the medical centre. Ambulances are on the way. Helping everybody. Oh, we've got another rogue house there. Just keeping on top of it, when you see houses need water, power, etc. Just extend the pipes and the power lines, things like that. So everybody's got coverage. Right. If you go to economy, you can get yourself a loan, which I'm going to do for the purposes of this video, so it'll allow me to carry on building. It's up to you whether you want one or not. Just speeds it along, really. Now you can see there, I've made a mistake. That's the sewerage. You see that dirty water? it's leaking into the clean water that's being sucked up so therefore residents are starting to get poorer so the solution is basically to move them see what I've done there just separated them You will actually see a bit later that I need to actually do something else there. So let's extend out a little bit more. On this side now. Fortunately, I'm a bit too much of a perfectionist. You can remove things you do. You just need to bulldoze by pressing square. Connect the roads up there. Down here. I like things just to be quite nice and perfect. Obviously, you could design it however you want. Okay, so I'm just starting to extend on the other side now. There you go. Few more houses being built there. Remember to keep an eye on everybody that's moving in. If it starts slowing down, you need to build more houses. As you build as well around and up, um, the houses will upgrade and the buildings will upgrade. My next milestone. 700 residents which now will allow me to build um, a fire station and a police station which I will do shortly I have pipeline problems yeah the pipeline problems are I've not connected them houses to power and water there we are just extend the pipes out the water pipes they've all got water now they're going to need power Let's see, 
Just needs to touch the blue and they'll all get power. There you go. You can put wind farms up if you want, they're just a bit more expensive. Right, let's build a fire department. I always think it's probably a good idea to put the emergency services somewhere in the middle. Everybody's very happy with that. Police station, other side. There you go. So buildings level up automatically as you improve the city, as you build around they will automatically upgrade so you can see look at a building and then a little bit later you'll go back to the area and the building will have changed because it's just upgraded it's really nice because the map is always ever changing it's really really good let's get some more commercial buildings in there bring in some revenue which is ultimately what you need to continue building you need to balance the industry, the commerce and the residents. See that hazy glow over the industrial section? Districts. Very easy to do. Paint your district. I say that, I didn't keep my finger on it. There we go. Garland Park. Names and fire. You can rename them if you want, but I'm not going to do that in this video. You can rename everything in this, basically. The city, buildings. Those are all the buildings upgrading you can hear. Them, that, them like uh, chimes that you keep hearing. Those are buildings upgrading constantly. There you go, we've got three districts. Now as you grow and build, obviously you will do that more and more. You can also choose what each district focuses on in regards to what industry, forestry, farming, things like that. But we'll do that in a later video. So as you can see there, it's all starting to take shape nicely. Now we have a problem again, everyone's getting sick. So therefore, I decide to move one on each side. So we've got clean water on one side, sewage on the other. Now if you've got a map where you've only got water on one side, what you're going to have to do is really keep them far apart. But because we've got water on both sides, I've decided to just separate them. Because it keeps, keeps being a problem, so therefore eliminate the problem. Clean water one side, sewage on the other. Ooh, what's that little? That's a burglar. He's just been arrested by the sound look of it, I mean. More pipes. For those. And there's one up there. There we go. Very nice so far. There we are. All I'm going to do now is just move the sewerage pipe further down because it doesn't need to be right up here now. You can just shift it. Just relocate. Just cost, but it's negligible to remove things. There we are, it's fine there. Then just connect the pipe up. And all done. And then any excess pipe that you don't need, you can just bulldoze it away. Dead easy. The next milestone allows you to build a high school and it gives you the option for decorations, which 
Um, I'll show you a bit later how to do pavements, but we'll do decorations on a later video. So that's the power coverage of the, of the map so far. As you grow, you, you will need to build more power plants or wind farms, whichever you want. This is me doing a pavement. Yeah, in the decoration section. So you just pavement along there to connect it to the road. Nice, there. Another pavement. What this will allow me to do, make it look a bit neater for a start, but also that little greenery in the middle. That is perfect for some nice, lovely little houses. There you go. Starting to build already. Do the same thing over here. And this is just experimentation, what I've done really. Trial and error on, on, on my first map. And that's the beauty of a lot of these building games. You don't often get massively punished if you get things wrong. It is, simply put, just trial and error. Oop, we have a fire. Fire brigade here. Now remember this is on fast speed, the map. If you put it on the slowest speed, you can watch this at a more realistic speed. This is on fast forward times three. Well, that's what I really love about this. It's a living, breathing city, it feels like. Everything has a purpose. The fire brigade put out the fires. Where should we put this one? There we are. Put that one there. And that one there. Nice. Lots of schools. Education, boys and girls. Can't beat it. Pipe it up. So all you basically that you keep doing is you just keep building, expanding, Look at that. The architecture of some of the buildings are so lovely. Building next expanding, balancing the co commerce with the industry, with the residents. Until you get to your milestones which will unlock new things to build. More complex to build like transport, like taxis and buses with transport lines. And I would imagine later on, and I haven't got to that part yet, you'll get to like airports and things like that. So lovely just to have a little scan around you, your little sitter. And right now, he's li it is little. I love the way the industry has got that hazy fog around it. I mean, just look at some of the details of these buildings, they're fantastic. So that's your basic guide on how to get started playing City Skylines. To get you up and running, get your city up and running. My future videos will give you a few more advanced techniques. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.